Welcome back to Daddy the Pikachu Returns. Last time we figured out that uh the evil man is Mr. Murloc. Make sure to like and subscribe so then we can figure out what the heck is going on. Do you find any enough clues? Sit let me hear before knowing the secret. Uh they're collecting bamboo charcoals. <laughs> no, they wanted the research data. Okay. We're only need the research data Jessica was holding on to. She's got Emma's research data, and that's why she was targeted. That data is being used on to research something other than the cubes. I got a bad feeling about this. Done. Hmm. I don't get we. I don't think we investigated every. <clears throat> I don't think we've investigated everything in this lab yet. Yeah, you're right. Let's read more thoroughly. Like here, definitely a picture of you. What the heck does it all mean? Let's take a look and see if there's anything here. I see. Merlin is seriously starting to creep me out. Two pictures of me and Pikachu posted up in his room. What's up with that? Not to mention stealing Dad's body and keeping it somewhere in this building. The fact that he's gotten these photos of me or Harry and Pikachu right here next to each other makes me wonder if Merlin already figured it out. Figured what out? That my consciousness is in Pikachu's body. No way. If not, then why has he been targeting me so persistently? I can very read what's was written here. Meteorite orange up human. That's all I can make out. It seems like the energy from the meteorites is really important. The numbers. See, pretty careless to display the door passcode so promptly. I'm wondering more about the numbers we haven't used yet. Could it be another password, but I can't say for sure. Let's say Merrick really has figured out your secret, Pikachu. Just what was he planning to do with you after he captured you? Your guess is as good as mine. Let's head down to B5 and look for my, I mean, Harry's body. Seeing it close up might help us figure this all out. You need to know Murloc is willing to do whatever it takes to pursue his research. We gotta do something. Hey, got a moment? What is it? I think we should organize our findings so far. Yeah, let's lay it out. Alright. We got a lot of info to pick over, but this much is clear. Three people are at the center of this mystery. Howard, Murloc, and Emma. Those three are closely connected to with Unitas. Yeah, but they had different goals. Let's think a bit more about those three people. Hmm. I was trying to have the cube attached to Pokemon of Rhyme City. After hearing that recording, I at least kind of understand where he's coming from. He wanted to protect Rachel to make sure something like R never happens again. He's got good attention, but his methods are way off the mark. We just have to convince him of that somehow. Hmm. Murloc is sound and continue his research no matter what. He even went as far as stealing Emma's research so he can advance his own. We don't know exactly what he's researching, but I think it's safe to assume it's nothing good. He says something about simulations of linking minds. I think the only way we can... We're gonna find out more about it as we ask him, Murloc himself. The goal of Emma's research was mutual understanding between humans and Pokemon. She seemed to be trying to create a society where humans and Pokemon could perfectly coexist. She sounds like she had a good heart. But now Murloc's using Emma's research. Right, data that was so dangerous she tried to seal it away. The Unitus we're seeing now is nothing like the users project Emma was part of. Hmm. I think we've seen all there is on this floor. If only we could head down to the next floor. But we're not getting there without a key card, card key. Right, we didn't even find one in the lab. But there doesn't seem to be anywhere else to look. What should we do? For now, let's head and join the other. I'll enjoy the others. Maybe we'll uncover something new. Okay. Mm hmm? Hmm? What is it? I hear something. Talk someone talking above. Why is there a hole here? Oh. oh no! Hey, sweet! They, they dropped their card key! What an idiot! Okay! Way to go, girl and pig, Goro. Don't bust out the party hats. Yeah, someone you just bound to show up any second now. According to the map floor, there's stairs on the other side of the door to the right. We should get a move on. Right? Okay! Now we can finally open the doors to the barn floor. We just gotta open it with the key card and wait till I hear something. Get back! 
Huh? What do you think you're doing here? Whoa! Run for it! Hey, wait! Stop! No! <laughs> hey, why'd you stop? What'd you say? Hey, Growlit! What are you doing? He's using the meat. Damn. What? Pikachu. Growl is buying us some time. I'll come back for you. I swear. This is bad. We managed to get away from you to take the growls, unfortunately. We can't just go any further. All those crates are blocking the way. We gotta force our way through. Yeah, that's right. You're up. I'm in a ten. And the punch. So many crates. Never mind. Okay, we made it through. We just searched the elevator and get there straight away. The door won't open. We're running out of time. The humans are getting closer. Break through the door. We gotta be. We gotta see the door. How about the switchboard? Now I forced the door open with electric current. I guess that's my cue. Oh no, they're coming. Yes. Looks right, thank you. Come on, let's go. Hey. Do you keep staying right here. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> hey. See you later. Sorry, Luxray. Let's go, Pikachu. Yeah, we'll come back for a growl if it's all over. Hang on until then, you two. Pretty my freak. At this point, I was allowed to get the elevator down. It's thanks to you we made this far every day. I really appreciate it. No, thank you. I felt awesome getting to help you out so much. I want to thank you, too, for giving me a chance to repay my debt to you. Hey, cut it out. You're acting like this is goodbye. We still gotta get to the bottom floor to deal with. And we all know that they can really get hairy. Right, true. Okay, everyone. Into the elevator. <laughs> oh, no. You're not planning to stay behind, too. From the... Pikachu! Wait! You can't! We had lots of fun. Looks right now. You guys. Pikachu. We had good friends who sacrificed themselves. We finally made it. Yeah. And that means it's possible Mayor Myers is just ahead. Hey, don't worry about me. Rachel. Murloc may have fooled my father, but we're about to prove what a crook he really is. That's right. Hey, hey! What about my body? Oh, don't you worry. We haven't forgotten. Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> no, okay. I literally just worried about that one thing. Like, my body, guys. It's like, no, we didn't forget. Oh, well, I think that's Marlock right there. Hey, look! 
It's dead. Why are you screaming? There's Finally a guy right there. Me. Finally made it to the bottom floor. I just hope it gets you still okay. They'll be alright. We see how capable they are for fending for themselves. For now, let's focus on getting you to your dad. I swear someone's up ahead. Someone's humming. Who do you think that is? Yep. It's Murloc. If he's here, that probably means Howard's here too. You know what to do, Tim. Yeah, I gotta convince him the mayor to start this plan they're working on. And to do that, we need to expose Murloc for the proof he's really up to. Sure, but at this point, I was likely dead set on seeing his vision through. Even if we blow Murloc's plot wide open, that might not be enough to convince Howard to change his mind. I know, but we gotta give it a try for Rachel and Howard, for the Pokemon of Rhyme City, and for you both of you. Thanks, Tim. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Mr. Murloc. Oh my, well, would you look at this? What might you be all be doing at IS? You must have caused all that commotion earlier. That explains why my entire staff rushed upstairs. But the question is why you're still, you're here so stands. Did I invite you to join him for front row seats to the shipment of cubes? We let ourselves in actually. We're here to see mayor. The mayor. Hmm, I see. Tell us, Mr. Murloc, where is, wait, here he comes. Rachel. Papa. Looks like the whole cast is here. We need to prove Murloc's deception and put a stop to his scheme. Yeah, but where do we even start? Tim Goodman, what are you doing here? I've been investigating a mysterious group. They're called Unitas. Investigating Unitas? Why are you doing that? Unitas has been causing some serious problems, Mayor Myers. Problems? What are you talking about? Papa, please listen. Mayor Myers, UNITAS is a dangerous organization. But all they do is conduct research into Pokémon. I created UNITAS for the benefit of Rhyme City. How could that be dangerous? On what basis do you make this claim? Maybe one good berserk stole the order. They destroyed the ruin, they destroyed the bamboo fort. I mean, that's kind of a lot of things. I'd say it's the ditto thing. It's not the ditto thing? No, nah, Unitas didn't do that. They sold the Come Pokemon. On, think back. I don't remember. They stole the Aurora Drop. Yeah. Remember the jewel theft at the Dennis residence? Yes, I did hear that the Aurora Drop was stolen the day after the award ceremony. That's right. And Unitas was involved in that incident. Excuse me? And I also have evidence that the Aurora Drop was brought here. How could that be? I'm sure that was just a few bad apples. You can't say the whole organization is dangerous just because of that. Actually, they've committed other crimes as well. And they even targeted us, too. I'd say it's, it's they attacked us at the ruins. Everywhere we went, we kept getting attacked by Unitas. I'm sure that was just a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? They even went after me and Jessica! Rachel, you too? Murloc, did you know about this? Yeesh, he's completely ignoring us. Please, 
Papa, you have to stop this. I can't do that. Not when human Pokemon coexistence is so close to being achieved. And the cubes are how you'll achieve that? Exactly. Pokemon can be dangerous at times, but the friendship cubes will solve that problem. Friendship cubes? Mayor Myers, those cubes are the problem. Do you have any idea how Pokemon have been harmed because of those cubes? Wrongfully accused of crime detained by the police. That has to be it. I mean, that's definitely it. <laughs> The PPB incident. The case with Butler. I did hear about that. He was using one of those cubes to make a Pokemon commit crimes. He what? Why would he misuse the cubes that way? Because of that, my Pikachu was wrongfully arrested. I nearly lost a member of my family because of those cubes. Help me understand how the friendship cubes could be dangerous if they're misused, which is not enough of a reason to stop this operation. Papa! With the friendship cubes, humans and Pokemon can finally understand one another. Mayor Myers, can't you see you're being deceived? Hmm? What do you mean? You're being deceived. That's what I mean. They deprived them of their free will. The purpose of the cubes, in truth, is to deprive Pokemon of their free will and force them to do what humans want. I was told the friendship cubes were revolutionary devices that would allow humans and Pokemon to live in harmony. Mayor Myers, you've been deceived this whole time by the name Friendship Cube. They're actually called Control Cubes. Please, you have to stop this before it's too late. No, never. Even if it's all true, this was Emma's dream. You know this wasn't Mama's dream. Rachel. Papa, don't you remember? When I was little, and got lost in Bamboo Burrow, an Ursa Ring saved me. I was afraid, and crying, and since it was worried for my safety, the Ursa Ring chose to rescue me. All Pokémon have free will and can think for themselves. But you're trying to impose your will onto theirs. Do you really believe that's right? How can you claim to coexist with Pokémon? if you take away their free will. Papa, is that really the future you want for Rhyme City? Because Mama's dream for people and Pokemon was nothing like this. And if she knew, if Mama saw this, you just can't do this, Papa! Rachel, I didn't realize what the friendship cubes were really doing. I see now that I was wrong. I'm sorry, Rachel. I nearly made a terrible mistake that couldn't have been undone. As much as I'd like to, we can't wrap this up just yet. There's one last problem to take care of. Yes. Who took advantage of my plan? Who could have done these things? The There's guy behind one you. one person it could have been. It's time to expose the one pulling the strings, Tim. Yeah. Your wife. Dead wife. It should have been his wife. That should have been an option. That would have been really the funny. One behind this? Mr. Murloc! You're the culprit! Uh, will you shut up? Uh, 
I have to say, I'm incredibly disappointed in you, Mayor Myers. You know you're playing right into Pokemon's hands, don't you? Rhyme City's a lost cause if you can't even protect your only daughter. What did you say? Go. Murloc! You were deceiving me? Your role in this has come to an end, Mayor. As for the great detective duo, I knew you were good, but even I'm impressed you made it all the way here. Mr. Murloc, those cubes will never be used again. Give up already. <laughs> You really think I care about that plan? It was nothing more than a means to an end. Behold! This is the masterpiece that I've truly been creating. You mean, this has nothing to do with the cubes? We saw the meteorite and the aurora drop in the lab. Do those have something to do with my dad and Pikachu? Excuse me? You dared to snoop through my research? Yeah, you're reaching with shit. Common rabble like you wouldn't understand it anyway. Explaining it would be pointless. Just pay attention. Pay attention? I've got a bad feeling about this. You guys! You're all right! Here they are. Huh? Pikachu! Huh? What do you think you're doing? But why, Pangoro? Tim, look! Why do you not realize? Of course. They're all being controlled. See, this is why Tim should have gotten a gun to defend himself, so he can just shoot Murloc. Okay, it seems I've got everything I need. Now it's time to get the show started! <laughs> I don't know why I done this. I'm about to realize my dream, my dream of becoming a Pokemon. Do you want to become a Pokemon? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> do it, yeah, I needed this. What? I believe you may recognize this. The Aurora Drop? What are you... What are you gonna do with that? Easy. Hold on a minute. What Professor Gordon said about the Pokemon from space? <laughs> Deoxys has returned! <laughs> this can't be happening. And to think, I was complicit in this madman's plan. Oh, the best is yet to come. Murloc, let him go! 
Oh, I've come too far to stop now. The Sleeping Man and Detective Pikachu both brought me the energy I need. These two energies come together as one. All of my research, all of my dreams, will finally become reality! humans to understand Pokemon is for them to become Pokemon themselves. A union of human and Pokemon. This is the true meaning of coexistence! Dumbass. Oh dear, are you hoping to avenge your friend Pikachu? Well, what are you waiting for? Gotta do something. But first, I need to help Pikachu. <clears throat> What's that? Hey, me too. What's up, man? Me too. I cannot imagine why, but I sense a human's presence within that Pokemon. Tell me, what has happened? That guy used the energy in Dad and Pikachu to become Deoxys. Is that so? Not only has he misused my energy, he is using a Pokemon for his. Oh.
something. This lab's gonna I collapse. Throw a grenade. If either one of them wins. We need to get somewhere safe. That's it. Rachel, Mr. Myers, take shelter in the elevator. But, Tim. I'll save Pikachu. Okay. Growlithe and the others might be hurt. I'll take care of them. I was afraid of my dad. Come on, Papa. Let's go. Right. Tim, you be careful. I will. What do I do? Rather than the others, we'll be safe with Rachel. Uh, I gotta focus on saving Pikachu. I'm calling Pikachu. He's inside. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Not the shot. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, more or less. This thing will open. Can you get me out of here? I don't know if, it, if I can't. Well, then must be locked. You don't have a password by chance. I'll take a look. Thanks. <laughs> we should pull open if I didn't. I saw the two numbers. 200122 and 170608. Okay, it was the second one. Pikachu! Yeah, how you doing? Wow, that was intense. But looks like both me and Pikachu are okay. What a relief. I gotta say, looks like the party's in full swing. Believe it or not, it's Murloc. Yeah, I know. Looks like he's become a Pokemon. We have to stop him somehow. I can't imagine Mewtwo losing. But we humans caused this mess. We're the ones who've got to clean it up. Yeah. What about your body? I look safe enough in there. Anyway, let's hurry. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. This is bad. I feel kind of wobbly. It must have been all the energy you drained. Oh no, what about Pikachu's consciousness? Hey, don't look so down. Everything will be fine with your thing. So we gotta take care of Mewtwo. We gotta stop Mewtwo. Help Mewtwo. You're as good as mine. All I know is what we can do. Ray Detective Tip 48. Never ever give up. That's a spirit, Tim. Let's stop the machine. This is a power supply. Stop it is just unplugging it. Dude, let's fiddle around with it and see how it works. Maybe we'll learn something by pressing random buttons. No time, just got to go for it. I didn't think of that. It's blue, then one red, two red, three red. What? Is it backwards? No. The so one blue, two blue, three blue, four blue. I should have thought of that. I don't know why I didn't think about the colors. That's true, kind of part didn't seem to do anything. Back to the drawing board. I had to fiddle with the fusion machine itself. Hey, there's more luck. What? This is the fusion machine. It's complicated. I believe we can just unplug it. How do we move the capsules? I know we saw some more like slap. Worth pause on the forget. I know it's not the approach a technician should take, but I think it's trial and error. It's the only option. How about that? Oh, yeah, you know, I'm plugged. Yeah, he disconnected it. Makes sense. At least lock. Okay. Yes. I got it. Oh, okay, I can just take him. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna take the energy. Let's see if anything happened to Murloc. Didn't work. Nothing's changing. Let's give him a good Maybe punch to the groin. The excess energy didn't do anything because they're already fused together. Think, Tim. There has to be another way. Wait a minute. Murloc wrote about the energy in that report of his we uncovered. That's right. What exactly did Murloc use that energy for again? 
probably defuse them himself. Or to awake. He also could have used it to awaken him. And both. It could have been both. Defuse and awaken. Defuse? Yeah. That's it. If Murloc used that energy to fuse himself with Deoxys, then maybe that's the key to separating them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you going on about? Murloc and Deoxys are fused together because of that energy. According to the report, the balance of that energy is crucial. Oh, so we just gotta disrupt that balance. Yeah, but how do we do that? Oh, uh, I don't know. More energy. We can either expose him to more or we can remove the energy from Rook's body. So, how about expose it? Yeah, okay. That would make more sense. If we can somehow expose the access to these two energies... That excess energy will throw off the balance. But how do we do that? Good question. Once we figure that out, we can get back at him for throwing me into that pod. The Oxus flying around, the busted fusion machine, and then there's me, the great detective Pikachu. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Aha! I think I've got it! A bolt of brilliance! I'll jump up from the top of this machine and hit Deoxys with the energy! Oh, how very thoughtful. Yeah. Time to close this case! Spills the coffee everywhere. <laughs> Oops. If we take the elevator, I should be able to get over there. Okay, hand him over, Tim. Yeah. There. Mm. Looks like we're ready to go. So, hit it. <laughs> You're sure you can do this? You mean hit the axis in midair with two capsules of energy? You can't do that. Only I can do this. Yeah, I know. It's just, isn't there another way? Come on. Who do you think I am, Tim? In all my cases, I've never given up. I'm the great detective Harry Goodman. We've gathered all the evidence we need. Now all we gotta do is use it to pin down the culprit. Please, be careful. Just leave this to me. Hey, wait, what are they doing? If we unleash those moves, this place will explode! I've gotta hurry. You fail, the done. whole place explodes and you all die. Just need our body to hold out for me. Such an 
Did it? Pikachu! Come on! You've got to hurry! I can't. I've used up all my strength. I can't make it. You need to go on without me. to safety. Don't wait up for me. Hang in there. We're almost out of here. Irene and Sophia, they need you. Sin, you've grown into a fine young man. And one heck of a great detective. Pikachu. He's crying to him, man. Like, he didn't cry at all. I could save him. Dad, or Pikachu. How do you get into the pot? Dad! Tim, hey. Sorry, I kept you waiting so Dad! long. I... And Merlock's in there? How do you get him in? Easy now. You're gonna break my ribs. I'm so glad you're okay. Pikachu, too. Yeah. Little guy's sound asleep. He really did a great job back there. Yeah, that was me, you know. Half you, maybe. <laughs> That's fair. Come on, everyone's waiting. Let's go home. Yeah. We'll leave him in the pond to forget about his body. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't did I expect it to end and have the story done in the second game? I mean, I I don't think so. But with the way it was going, it definitely seemed it like that. I uh I think that this game when you think about the first one, it did I think it did well. I think it was a good sequel to the original, and I thought the original was charming. You know, it was fun, and then this game was... Yeah, I, I, I'd say this game is pretty good. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10, maybe a 7.5. I want to give it a 9. I want to give it a 10. Like, it wasn't perfect, but it was good. It was a good experience. If you played the original, you probably like it a lot more. <laughs> You know, because you'd have to remember the story. <laughs> if 
I uh, play the original, I'd probably, or like replay the original, I'd probably think to myself, oh yeah, this game's, this game was like, good. <laughs> was the original better? I don't remember. I haven't played the original since it came out. <laughs> but even so, it, it was a, I still had a lot of fun. And I don't know if it, it should have been that fast. Was it fast? I mean, they were probably gonna, they probably would have milked the series dry anyway if they did it, clear it up in the second of it second game. Wait until the Ted the Pikachu spin-offs start being made. Never saved your dad. He died. That'd be quite dark. But yeah, it was a good experience. I had fun. I, I saw a lot of people saying... Was it a lot? No, like Twitter. Just, you know, Twitter stuff. People being like, oh yeah, you know. The, the game is mid. It's not great. Not a good experience. Don't waste your money. I'd say if if you don't, hmm. Obviously, that's in the eyes of the beholder, of course. I I wouldn't say it's a waste of money if you really if you like the first one, then you're definitely gonna like the second one. I'd say if you're super unsure, just watch someone play it. I mean, we're kind of in that thing now. That thing. We're in that like time frame where we start watching people play games instead of playing them ourselves we're also doing both watch them and then and then we're like hey i like that game you should play it that's how my love for persona came i was like who the heck is joker from persona 5 i've never heard of that guy when he was the dlc for smash bros then I played the game, and I was like, oh yeah, I like this game. And now I love the Persona series, so... It's kind of the same thing. You watch something, and then you enjoy it, and you're like, yeah, maybe I can play this myself. All our friends who helped us out, all their pictures and whatnot. <laughs> Such a nice... I don't know why I like credits. Credits always make me, like, want to tear up. You know, you see all your... Everybody, like, happy in the end. Oh, look at Cramorant. There's Turner in the police station. Cramorant's like, hey, man, how you doing? Ah, oh, there he is, Chef Gordon Ramsay, eating his curry. I feel like Tim should have at least, like, cried, man. You know, he, who would expect him to live there? I, if I was Tim, I would be crying the elevator up. Tim wasn't realistic enough. Zero out of ten. On him's emotions. <laughs> yeah, Beaumont Company copyright. Yeah, I get it. And then there's the happy ending. I deserve that. I'd make a great detective. I don't know. You get bored really fast. <laughs> What's that got to do with it? Sophia, you're still young, and detective work is dangerous. Aww. Dangerous enough that we don't have self-defense. Like. Uh, Sophia, the thing about being a detective is... I could take your gold! Oh, maybe. Perry! <laughs> Just be a receptionist at that point. Is that it? They don't get anything else? Okay. Thank you for watching. I had fun. I hope you did. Next time, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's, yeah, same save.
next time even, there will be next time i don't know what game to play next because by the time i'm recording this i don't have a tr i don't have an idea but might it might be mario wonder or something who knows so yeah guys in the next playthrough goodbye